it takes a community to resettle a refugee. People can't actually feel a part of a community until they have relationships with the people who are around them. My name is Linda O'Malley and I live in St. Paul, Minnesota. My name is Shamaki Muse. I'm from Somalia. I first met Shamaki through his family, actually. They left Somalia due to the Civil War, and he was a very young child. Um, so he pretty much grew up in Kenya, in the camps in Kenya. He arrived in March, so as you know, it's cold here. I've never seen the snow coming. I, you know, when I wake up morning, I swear every place is white. The matching of befrienders with newly arrived refugees is our way of extending hospitality to people who are new in this country. We really see our role as matching people who want to find a relationship but don't know how to find that relationship. My best tool to give him would be to show him how to navigate this culture, going to the post office, reading a bus schedule, looking for bus stops. And she told me a library, how to take books. And getting enrolled in English language classes, navigating our education system, and just having them feel like they're a part of this neighborhood. I feel Minneapolis is my home because I don't feel like I'm a foreigner. Each time I'm with Shermaki, I learn something and I just come away, you know, with something new. It's good for even Americans to learn other cultures. Linda now, she become part of our family right now. She know our culture, she know what we like. She learn even other language. I've really grown personally. Um, with the help of the refugee resettlement. We were talking all about his culture. And then Shamarki asked me, what is your culture? It's like nobody has ever asked me that before. What is your culture? The transformation that happens is just incredible. And Linda has a real gift with that, to really work one-on-one -on -one in, in relational ways with refugees and listen to them about where they're coming from. My dream is to be a doctor because I was in medicine for the last five years. When he said that he wanted to be a doctor, I said, that's absolutely fabulous. You know, you're just so compassionate. You have, you have so many skills already. So wherever he ends up, right now he's in the nurse assistant program, he's gonna be amazing. To have one person make a friend with you and you're a friend and you trust that person and you know that person, what a gift, what a miracle. And if that's not God, then I, I, I don't know what it is. It's a wonderful opportunity for you to, I think, feel good about humanity and going and trying to communicate with someone from another culture that has newly arrived is a wonderful experience.